Hi everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you a 1 kit 10 cards video using the Spellbinders card kit of the month for the month of June. I have an unboxing video showing you the contents of this fun kit here on my YouTube channel and I will link to it in the description box down below. But now let's have a look at the cards that I made. For my first card I went for a rather simple design. I started by trimming down the black cardstock in the kit to 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches and this will be the size of my card base. And then I chose one of the pattern papers also present in the kit and I trimmed it down to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches. And this way, when I tape down the pattern paper on my black base, I will have a border all around. I created a focal point with one of the journaling cards in the kit, and then I glued down these two lemonade bottles at an angle to create a little bit more interest. For the sentiment, I used another two die cuts from the kit that together will form the greeting Hello Sunshine. I'm adhering the word sunshine on some foam squares for some added dimension and then I glued down the word hello flat. And both these die cuts have some nice foiled detail that will add a little bit of extra interest to the card. I taped everything on one of the card bases also in the kit. These are white A2 card bases and this finished off card number one. Card number two is also pretty simple and I played with this beautiful pattern paper to create a focal point on the center of the card because all the rays point to the center of the pattern paper and that's where I will add my image. So I trimmed down the pattern paper to a strip and then I created some thin strips with the gold foil cardstock and also some larger strips with the black cardstock. I'm going to adhere the gold cardstock behind the pattern paper so that I create some small borders around it and this will bring more attention to the central panel. And then for the outer portions of my card front I'm going to have some black cardstock that I glued directly on the card base. I'm going to tape down the pattern paper on the card base making sure that I have it nice and straight. And then I picked again some die cuts which I'm going to adhere to the card front. I have this pretty rainbow with a foiled detail on the edge which will match nicely with the gold foil strips that I created. I adhered it down with some foam squares again to create dimension and interest and then for the sentiment I used one of the banners also in the die cut set. I adhered some of the sequins from the kit around the rainbow to create again more interest in that area of my card and this finished off card number two. Card number three is a fun birthday card and I decided to use some papers to create a design on the card base. I trimmed both of these designs in half so that I could use them together to create some nice geometric pattern on my card. I trimmed them down so that they would fit my 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card base. And I also decided to use some black cardstock to separate the designs a little bit. I taped everything on one of the card bases in the kit. And then I started decorating the card front with some more die cuts. Some of them have again that foiled detail that matches nicely with the foil on the pattern paper. The focal point is this fun dog shaped balloon and for the sentiment I chose this banner with the happy birthday greeting foiled on top. I decorated the card front with some more sequins that I scattered all around the card front itself and then I also added this small banner with the EXO greeting on the top right corner of my card front and that finished off card number 3. So far I have only used pattern paper and die cuts to create my cards but for card number 4 I decided to use some of the dies in the kit. 
I started by taking some pink cardstock and die cutting it using the dies that you see on screen. This will basically help me create some sunglasses. I have the actual lens, I have the little bit that connects the lenses that I'm using right now to build my glasses, and then I have the little sticks that form the sides of the glasses. I'm sorry I'm not using some more specific language, but the words are escaping me at the moment. And I thought it would be fun for the extra lenses to use the gold cardstock in the kit to sort of mimic those mirror lenses that are kind of cool. I am also gluing the sides to the glasses so that the glasses look like they're folded. I'm gluing them at the back and I'm using the glass mat to make sure that I have lined them up correctly. And then you see I'm using the same papers from the previous card, but I'm going to create a different type of design. So the layout for this card will be horizontal. And I am going to also use a journaling card with the greeting that reads Sun in your eyes, grass between your toes, to create a focal point where I can glue my glasses. I'm using these small die cuts. These are actually part of the wings of one of the butterflies in the die cut set, but I'm using them as hearts. I adhered a sentiment from the sticker set that reads enjoy today to complete the greeting that I have on the journaling card. I glued down some sequins and that finished off card number four. For card number five, I decided to use the stamp set that's included in the kit. This is such a fun set and perfect for summer. I love it and I can see myself using it on future cards as well. I started by creating my own pattern paper by stamping these citrus images on a sheet of pattern paper that I trimmed first to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and then trimmed out at an angle and I will use just this small portion of the paper. I then picked this other pattern paper and stamped the bottle on it and this striped one seemed just perfect to stamp my straw. I trimmed them both down using my scissors, cutting right on the edges, so I'm not leaving any border like I usually do. These are very easy uh, shapes to cut, so it didn't take long at all. And then in order to be able to insert the straw in my lemonade, I'm going to trim or rather to cut a little slit in the bottle. The reason why I chose this pattern paper is that it fades from pink into blue, so it could sort of look like there is actual lemonade in the bottle. And to emphasize this effect even more, I used the bottom of the bottle stamp to create a little line in the image itself. And now it looks like we have some juice or lemonade in our bottle. I cut some light blue cardstock to four by five and a quarter inches and I layered my custom made pattern paper on top. I taped them both down on my card base and I decided to decorate it using this strip of foiled vellum. This adds a nice foiled detail on my card without taking away too much from the focal point which will be the bottle. I used some die cuts that matched nicely with the theme of this card and sort of filled up the space around the bottle. And then I used one of the stickers to create the sentiment. This will also help me to hold down the vellum so that I don't have to glue it with glue showing through. And then I finished up the card by decorating it with another die cut that reads Oh Joy by adding some white gel pen details pretty much to all the stamped images. With that same number 8 white Sakura jelly roll pen, I also created a stitched detail around the blue portion of my card base to create some more interest there, and I added some more sequins. The set is full of these sequins and you'll see them pretty much on every card or on most of them because they are really nice and they add such a fun detail to the cards. They bring them up a notch with very little effort. And this is card number five. 
card number six is super quick and super easy to make. I started by cutting some of the white cardstock in the kit to four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to take this gorgeous floral pattern paper and adhere it at an angle over the cardstock. This will bring some more interest to this very simple design. And to make things more simple, I first adhered the pattern paper to my card base and then trimmed off the excess using my guillotine trimmer. To dress up the design a little bit, I trimmed two thin strips of gold cardstock and I adhered that basically along the edges of the card base. The corners don't meet exactly, but that's not a problem because I'm going to hide that part behind my sentiment, which I created using some die cuts from the kit. Those also have that nice foiled detail that will match with the strips we added. And then I layered the card front on a base of blue cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I adhered everything on one of the card bases in the kit and that finished off card number six. Card number seven almost didn't happen, but I decided to push through the mistakes and in the end I came up with a design that might not be my favorite, but I decided to keep in the video because I wanted to show you that sometimes things don't go as planned, but you still can make a nice card when that happens. I started off my card by creating this strip and for that I layered one of the pattern papers in the kit with two strips of foiled cardstock. I like to use this foiled cardstock and create small elements with it so it adds an elegant touch without it getting too heavy. I glued down this strip at an angle on a panel of white cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter inches. I thought I had adhered it to this pink cardstock and I went ahead and trimmed it down so that I could trim off the excess of the strip but then I realized that I hadn't actually taped it down and while I was trimming down the paper that actually moved my white panel so I had this funky shape now. I still decided as I said to go ahead and glue it on the card base to create sort of a bottom focal point there and then I thought I'll figure out what else to do on this card. I didn't really love the way that pattern paper was looking so I decided to adhere the yellow one on top. I trimmed off the excess so now I have my card base ready. And then I used some of the die cuts in the kit to decorate it and turn it into a cheerful birthday card. I have the cotton candy and the birthday hat at the bottom. I have glued some of the candles behind the strip. And there I will layer also my sentiment banner using some foam squares to add some dimension. I have a donut and these paper sequins which are also part of the die cut kit. And once I'm happy with all the layers and the decorative element, I can go ahead and tape everything down to my card base. And here is card number seven. We managed to make it work. Card number eight is another very simple card which is very bright and very cheerful. I started by creating two squares out of two different designs of the pattern paper collection that's present in the kit and I trimmed them down to three by three inches. I then cut a strip out of another of the papers in the kit. This has a geometrical design which is foiled, so with that same gold foil cardstock and this will add some nice subtle detail to the card. I started decorating the card with some of the stickers in the kit as well as those two squares of pattern paper that I previously created. I am gluing them down at an angle to add more interest to the design and then I'm going to add some more die cuts. Some of them are images like the sunglasses that you see on the top portion of the card. And some of them are sentiments and I chose these three ones with sort of this paintbrush detail and the uh, uh, sentiments that are foiled with gold foil and read spectacular, wonderful, amazing. 
I kept adding some more die cuts to sort of pretty up the design and embellish the card even more. And then, like I did with most of the cards for today's video, I added some of the gold sequins to the card front, gluing them down with Nuvo glue. For card number 9, I created again a birthday card. I die cut some candles as well as the little fires on the top from the colored cardstock in the kit as well as from the gold cardstock using the dies also part of the kit. There's a lot of dies in the kit actually and you can create several elements. You will see the last one in the next card. So I'm gluing the fire to the candles themselves using some liquid adhesive and I'm going to leave them to dry while I work on my card base. I used again this geometrical pattern with the foiled detail to create my card base and used again this pattern paper with the spots because it's so fun and I thought it was perfect for a birthday card. So the geometric design is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and out of the pattern paper with the stains I cut a strip that I glued horizontally on the bottom of my card design. I glued two of the journaling cards to each other and adhered them to my card front and this will create the base for my sentiment as well as the decorative elements that I decided to add. I used just three of the candles and I glued them on top of the sentiment happy and then I completed my greeting with one of the stickers in the kit. The sticker itself forms the greeting happy birthday but I trimmed off just the birthday part and I'll keep the happy part of the sentiment for another project. Again, I couldn't stay away from the sequence and I also used that foiled die cut heart frame which was a leftover from the glasses that I created on a previous card and this finished off card number 9. My 10th and last card is again a birthday card. I started by die cutting this dog shaped balloon using again the dies in the kit. You have a main die that cuts the dog itself and then you have some smaller dies that you can use to die cut some parts of the balloon and layer them to the base so that you can create some dimension. And this is what I'm doing right now. I'm using some liquid glue to adhere everything. And while this is drying, I am going to create the card base. I decided to use this pattern paper with the polka dot design and I trimmed it down to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches. I also decided to add some detail with this foiled vellum. I used again the one with the ribbons, but there is another sheet with a lot of fun sentiments. I'm going to position it more or less where I want it on my card front. I'm going to flip the card front and fold the excess back so that I can use the double-sided tape to secure the vellum to the back of my card base and I don't have to add any glue behind the vellum on the card front because if I did it would show through. I decorated the card front with some more of the birthday themed die cuts as well as the one with the foiled sentiment that reads Oh Joy. I decided to use some foam square to pop up my dog-shaped balloon because this will add some more interest to the card and then I went ahead and taped down the rest of the elements. I always like to arrange everything prior to gluing my elements down so that I have a good feel for the design. And this finished off my last card. And now let's have a look again at all the cards that I created today. This didn't take very long at all as these are quite simple designs and the fact that I could use the die cut elements helped a lot in creating all these cards in a relatively short amount of time. And I really like the fact that they are all so bright and cheerful and this gold foiled detail adds really a lot to them. I am also left with a lot of supplies that I can use for future projects and I'm showing everything to you right now. 
So I have the cardstock, I have a lot of the pattern paper and basically all of the foiled vellum sheets. I have a lot of die cuts and the stickers. I have the foam squares and the sequins, some journaling cards, and then obviously the stamp set and the die cuts that I can use on any future project that I might want. So that was it for my 10 cards, one kit video. I really hope you enjoyed this one too. You seem to have liked my previous one quite a bit and I was really happy about that. I'm sorry if the quality of this video might be a little bit lower in comparison, but as I did for my unboxing video, I am filming this as I am on a holiday in Italy to visit my family. But I will be back soon to my craft room and I'll catch you guys soon with the next videos real soon. Thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.